Hey, what's up, y'all? Just chilling, hanging out in my Sonic t-shirt. <laughs> y'all know how I roll. Anyways. Great job! I just wanted to give a little bit of a reply or response to a pretty interesting comment on one of our latest videos. Bringing David back. Bringing back David. Um, anyways, an interesting comment. Somebody asked, what was the inspiration for the final scene in um, Bringing Back David? And really, it comes from a couple different places, really. Uh, so first of all, I should get a backstory. This was written and kind of directed by all of us, really. It was a group effort. Um, Zach had come up with the original concept and, you know, pitched it to everybody and we liked the idea so we rolled with it um, so anyways towards the end of the movie um, almost said film but it's 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 a short movie um, is, is the proper term for what what, what that is so, so uh, towards the end of making well, let me rearrange the camera angle hold, hold up Oop, that's better towards the end of making the movie we uh, kind of drew from a couple different inspirations. Uh, first, definitely the Terminator. I'm not sure if you are familiar with the franchise, but we're talking original Terminator, 1982, I believe, uh, with Arnold Schwarzenegger playing uh, the Terminator himself. And so Zach's kind of character at the end is really just a reincarnation of David, oh, let me grab my chips. But he really took a lot of inspiration from that character. So, oh! Fuck this shit. so another interesting fact or interesting uh, piece of information about that scene was originally we had a different um, kind of thing oh, let me get a bite of my chips originally we had a different kind of theme for the ending we wanted to go with the more Walker Texas Ranger themed ending um, you know it's very classic of uh, Walker to say a line and walk away from the camera. Um, so that was also an inspiration. Um, now it didn't make it to the final cut of the film, the movie, uh, but it did. We definitely had inspiration from that show. <laughs> Hold up, let me put my hat back on. Another thing that was really interesting about uh, the shoot for bringing back David, in particular the end scene. We'll just stick with talking about the end sequence <clears throat> for this now, video. One of the more interesting things about that was the risk of being caught um, by my neighbors. Uh, that was actually filmed in my personal garage downstairs. And when Zach walked out into the gravel and into the forest and, and off into uh, another, uh, another life, uh, reincarnated as David, um, he, we wanted to do it nude from the start, from the get go. Um, you know, Mikey, one of the producers on this project, really pulled for that. Chance, I remember Chance saying he'd really like to see Zach uh, <coughs> naked for the final shot. So, uh, obviously, we did. We convinced Zach to, you know, present everyone with his body and show off his muscular toned body and, and, Again, the Terminator, huge reference, huge inspiration from the Terminator during that scene. I'll be back. But anyways, back to the uh, kind of the behind the scenes story. Our neighbors, or my neighbors, were basically, uh, they had their window open. And mind you, these people have children, they have pets, they have a dog couple dogs and some children some small children and we definitely didn't want to expose Zach's nudity to little children and get in trouble with the police and 
Uh, we have a whole other situation with the police that we dealt with during the chase sequence, but we'll get to that at some other during some other video. Anyways, the part of the risk was exposing Zach's penis. Uh, we knew, you know, if somebody a kid sees an ass, an ass is an ass. It's kind of funny. Um, so we just wanted to make sure to not expose his penis to any small children that could be watching from the window nearby. So what we did was we got a trash bag, a small one of the uh, smaller trash bags, smaller size, and we just Zach, well Zach wrapped it around his genitals and uh, his cock. <clears throat> Zach wrapped it around uh, his you know cock and did the scene and it turned out great um I, I don't know if you'll notice but um there's actually which zach actually himself pointed this out there's a brief moment when he's walking and he darts his head to the left because uh, he's trying to make sure that window isn't open and little did he know it was open and also little did he know there was little children watching <laughs> and we're getting in a lot of trouble Okay. Just, Just kidding.